Hey guys, in this one, I want to show you five really cool widget apps for iOS 14. So these are third party apps that don't come in iOS, but I think they have some really, really cool features. So the first one is color widgets, and I'm going to get right into show you this app. Just gives you the day, the date, and also your battery percentage. And I just think it looks really cool. There's loads of different features and also designs. You can change everything yourself as well. So if I just go up to this top design and click it, you can pretty much change all of the design that you want. So you can have a light color background, color background or dark as well. And then you can go through all of the themes and pretty much choose any color scheme that you want and change it all. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe this one looks really cool. I quite like the colored scheme and then green. I just think it looks really good. Then when you're done, you can pretty much just hit set widget at the bottom. That is set. And then what you can do is swipe out, long press on the home screen anywhere, click the plus button in the top left hand corner. And then you can see color widgets is right there to add. So I can just click on that right now and add this. If you can't find that though, and for some reason it's not there, you can go up to the search bar and then just type in color and it's right there. You can click on color widgets. It's going to add it for you. So I'm just going to add actually this middle one. So I'm going to click on add widget. It's going to add that right to the home screen. I can then press done and pretty much move this around where I want by long pressing that widget. I'm going to put it right here. I think it looks pretty cool. It just gives you that information that you need. And if you press the widget itself, you can go into it and change all of the color schemes again. So if I just press the blue one and set widget, it's gonna set that and literally it's gonna change it right there. I think it's a really cool widget. There's good information and it's really good looking. But anyway, the second widget app that I think is very, very good is Widget Smith. So that's right here. You can see Widget Smith. So I'm gonna click on this one and there's a few different options that you can use. As you can see, I'm currently using it with a photo. So I've just got this photo of a flower here. I'm actually just gonna delete that and you can swipe left and delete. So I have no widgets in Widget Smith right now, but I'm gonna add a small widget. So I'm gonna click on add small widget. It's then gonna come up with this stock widget that it will use. You can click on this, go into this screen. You can then edit the widget just by pressing it in the middle right here. And you can see loads of really cool options that you can add. You can add clocks or the time in actually written words, date as well, and also calendars. So it's really cool. And actually the bigger widgets do have some more information. But what's really good as well is you can add a photo in here as well. So if I click photo, go down to selected photo, and then choose photo, you can go to your album and choose any photo that you want. I can then swipe down. And that's basically a widget, but I can add more. So if I want to add a medium widget here, then you can see it uses the calendar basically. So I can click into that, then click again to edit. And there's loads of different options. I really like them. I think the designs are really cool. Lots of useful information here. You can add photos as well. You can even add custom text. So you can literally just add some text that you want, maybe a reminder or something like that. Upcoming events from your calendar. That's either your Apple calendar or you can see I have Outlook also linked to my iPhone. So it can actually go to your Outlook folders as well. Reminders, you can have weather, but you do need to pay more for that. Your activity bar as well, and even astronomy, which is really cool. So I'm just gonna click on moon phases. I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go back. Then I have to click on save in the top right hand corner. And that's basically a widget. So I can then swipe out of this go long press on the home screen, go to add in the top left, just find Widget Smith in the menu here. If you can't see it, just literally uh, type in Widget Smith. It's right here. I'm going to choose the medium one because that's the one that the astronomy was on. Click add widget and it's right here. So as you can see, this is great. And this app has a few bugs. So what you need to do is just long press right here. Click edit widget. Then you go to medium two, just press it. It's kind of a bug. I don't really know why, but I'm going to go maybe medium one here to see if that works. And yeah, it works. So if you do have a black box, the app does have a few bugs, but you can get it working pretty easily. So that's got the moon phases. I think that's really cool. But anyway, moving on to the third one, which is photo widget. You can see it right here in the bottom of my screen. So let's get it open. And yeah, this is just for photos. So you can add up to 30 photos and it's going to scroll through them in the widget, which I think is really cool. If you don't want them, just click edit here, delete photos. Then you can, yeah, you can choose this one, delete, 
this one delete. I'll keep this one for now though, so you can press complete in the left. If you wanna add any images here, really, really simple, just press the plus button in the middle, it takes you through to your images. So I'm just gonna choose, I guess, this one in the top left, and I wanna add one more, so I'm gonna hit the plus button again. And I think this one looks pretty cool here, so I'll add that. So that's done. Then what you wanna do is go to the settings in the top right-hand corner, click on that one. At the moment, I have the photo refresh interval to five minutes. If you click on this, you can change it to anything you want up to a day, five minutes or never. So it'll just have one image. So five minutes is good for me. So I'm gonna click on that. Just click back and then swipe down this box. So those three images are gonna be rotated every five minutes. If I swipe out to add that widget, again, long press on the home screen, press the plus button. It's right here, you can see photo widget. If you can't see it, search for it in the, in the widget search bar, but I can, so I'm just gonna click on this one. Yep, the small widget is fine for me, so I'm gonna add widget, press done, it's right there. And that's the third image, so that will just rotate through those images for me. I think that's a really good feature as well. The next one actually is an Apple widget, and I think this is probably my favorite of all, which is Smart Stack. You can see it at the bottom. So I'm on notes right now, but I can actually swipe through this Smart Stack. I think it's so cool. You can literally just swipe on the Smart Stack itself, and it basically is like a carousel of some different widgets in one. So I've got the weather here, and surprisingly in nearly October, the weather in England is great, which is very surprising. But if I swipe through, you can see it goes through to the calendar, your recently played music, your to-do notes, world times, and actually Smart Stack can have loads of different options. It's just so cool, I really, really like it to literally swipe through the Smart Stack on the screen without going anywhere else. Really, really awesome. The way that you add this is again, long press on the home screen, press plus. Then you can basically just search Smart Stack in the search menu. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's there too, but I just find it easier to search Smart Stack, click on that. You can then choose the size of your Smart Stack. Let's go for a really big one, press Add Widget, and then press Done. So it's got my photos in here now. Photo Box Widget is in there as well. Wikipedia is in there, really, really cool. I like Wikipedia, this is Stocks. So what you can do is literally long press the Smart Stack, click Edit Stack, and this is the apps and widgets that are in the Smart Stack right now. You can click it on and off to Smart Rotate. That means it will actually rotate for you depending on what you need or what it thinks you need. You can also press the three bars on the right-hand side of anything and pretty much just rearrange the order that they're in, which is really, really cool. I think it's a great feature. I really, really like Smart Stack. I think it just works really well and a really cool widget for iOS 14. Then on to number five, and actually you just saw it, which is the Wikipedia widget, which I think just is really good. It gives you great information. So you can press the plus in the top left-hand corner after you've long pressed the home screen. Then I'm going to search for Wikipedia. So basically you need the Wikipedia app on your phone. There's no special widget apps. You just need Wikipedia, that application on your phone. It has widgets in there, so I'm gonna click on it. Then you can get a picture of the day, which I think is really cool. So you can have three different sizes, but you can also have on this day, just some information. Click through again, top read. That's what people on Wikipedia are reading. I just like actually the picture of the day. I think it's really cool. Just gives you a really nice bit of information. It's gonna change every day. I think it's really cool. And what you can do is basically press that widget, it takes you through to Wikipedia to give you this tiny bit of information. That's gonna change every day. And I think it's really cool to have on your home screen. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.